Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to write our first step definitions. Along with that, we are going to explore a bit about the test runner as well. Let's get started now. So in our previous video, we have created this feature file. Now let's take only one scenario for this example. So you can use like control slash to comment it out. Okay. And then right click and pretty format and yeah so this is my scenario one okay i have only one scenario for now now of course we know that this is just a simple plain english terms that cannot be executed so to do the execution we have to write our selenium and java code but before that let us see how to execute this okay how to execute this particular feature file so if we have the java file of course we can use the testng or the main method to execute right in cucumber we can use like junit or testng um, for our entire course i'm going to follow the testng okay so i'm going to create a package now let's name it like uh, test runner and within that i'm going to create a class file and let's make it like runner that's it okay and within the runner.java file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some cucumber option. Okay, so at the rate cucumber and give control space, you can say like cucumber options, which is coming from cucumber.api. Okay, and within this, we have like uh, we can pass like multiple options. And within the cucumber options, we can give plenty of options like we have around six to eight, I guess. So first of all, we have to say like, where is our feature file? So here for that, we are, can use this attribute called features and it accepts an array. So we can give the curly braces here and or else you can simply give like string also. That is also fine. If you have only one feature file, you can go with the string. If you have multiple, you can go with the array. Okay, so here I'm just taking this array and within that I'm going to give this one value and our feature file is uh, within the features folder and the feature file name is login.feature, right? So here we have to give the path from the SRC. Okay, so I will say like SRC slash test slash Java slash features. Okay, if I give only this, that means like whatever, how many feature files are there within the features folder it will execute everything in our case i have like only one so even if i give this of course the only one is going to execute consider consider like we have like multiple feature files within the same folder and i want to execute only one feature file in that case you can just give that particular feature file name okay so in our case it's going to be feature okay that's it pretty easy now after that i'm going to give give one more option called dry run okay and here i'm going to make it as true dry run in the sense like it will not execute your actual test but rather it will just uh, check like whether the mapping is done or not with the step definition what is meant by mapping i will tell you in a moment so i'm going to execute this but if i give like run as you can see like i'm not getting any options because we know that to execute any java file either we need the main method or testng or maybe like the third concept but here we are using the cucumber and cucumber already they have defined like how to execute what we have to do is very simple thing we have to extend our class this runner class we have to extend to a class called abstract testng cucumber since we are using testng with cucumber we have to do that for example, here I can say like extends test ng abstract. Uh, that should be like abstract test ng, I believe. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, abstract test ng cucumber test, which is coming from your test ng uh, cucumber test ng. Okay, it does not like your the from the cook from the test engine that we have learned earlier this is from the cucumber api dot test engine okay now if i give right click and run as you can see like we are getting test engine test as soon as i execute this file you can see like it's going to fail of course and if i go up here 
you can see like we are getting some code suggestions so first one it says like remote detected uh, that is the test ng version we have and it says like we have one scenarios and within that we have six steps that means if i go to my login dot feature i have one scenario and here i have like one two three four five six steps right so it says like i have one scenarios with six steps and some question mark question mark are there and some undefined are there we'll come back to that in a moment and also it says like you can implement you can implement missing steps with the snippet below that means i said like we have to do the mapping right so this feature file contains simple english but this we have to map with the step definition we can do that manually or else we can use the dry run function uh, not function the attribute the dry run attribute here like based on our feature file if there is no mapping then it will recognize that and it will give us the code suggestion this is basically the snippet but here if you see it says like at the rate given which is fine because here also uh, we are using given keyword okay that's fine and it says like user navigate to the book cart application that is our this one okay that's fine but if you see the method he says like public void user underscore navigate to underscore right so this is like your ruby so as i said in the introduction video uh, cucumber is initially built in the uh, ruby where they use this like kind of like camel case not camel case the snake case which is also used in the python as well right but in java mostly we write in the uh, camel case right so we can do that very easily let's go to our runner i hope you are able to understand what i'm trying to say just here we have like user underscore navigate right we are going to change this to the um, camel case okay so for that we have an option called snippet snippets and then i can say like snippets type dot camel case so by default it is underscore we can change this to camel case now if i run this again So here you can see like we got like the same thing, same failure, same everything. And it will also suggest us like to uh, implement the missing steps. And you can see like we got the steps, not the actual your Selenium code, but only the methods. Okay. And here you can see like now we got like user navigate to the book cart application. So this is basically our camel case. So we have got that. Okay. Now just we have to copy this and paste in our uh, step definition package we'll do that okay now if i go up here you can select we are getting some question mark and some brackets and all those right so those are like junk characters to prevent the or to avoid the junk characters we have a option called monochrome which will basically removes all the junk characters so if i go and run this now here we can see that we got decent output comparing to the previous one so here i don't have a, like anything like the square bracket or some numbers or some undefined things right so basically it says like we have one scenarios with six steps and it took this milliseconds to execute and also it's giving a suggestion like you can implement the missing steps with the snippet below okay so we have to uh, map this one i'm just going to give you one simple demo now okay i'm going to copy the first given okay so here you can see like uh, we have six steps and we got six method implementation as well okay so i'm going to create one more folder here package and here i'm going to say like steps and within the steps i'm going to create a class file and within the class file i'm going to uh, give something like login steps dot java file okay now here i'm going to say like i'm just going to copy paste like whatever we got and of course the given i have to import so mouse over and you'll see the import suggestion here okay i'm going to remove this too these are basically your comments and pending exception just remove it okay now here i'm going to say like sys out uh hey i am mapped okay something like this now let's go to our running runner file and i'm going to right click run as test ng test and if i go here you can see like one scenario six steps 
and here also you can select given at the rate given uh, user navigates to the book cart application but i have this i have this run right i have this like user navigates to the book cart application i have written the uh, method but still we are not able to it says undefined right so what we have to do is we have to stick our feature file to the steps file so for that we have an option called glue glue is what glue is basically like used to stick something your gum right so here we have to say where is our steps file and here i have to give only the package name that is steps okay now if i go and run this and if i go to the top you can see like now it says like you can implement missing steps but it's coming from the second step like user clicks on the login button it's not giving us code snippet or undefined methods for the first one basically we have implemented that one so this is how cucumber works okay so if i do right click and if i say find step definition uh, it should take me to that particular class i believe okay it's not going maybe i can just close and open this one more time and if i give like right click find step definition okay it's not working but it should work in most of the scenarios so basically what we have learned now is like how to create a runner file and within the runner file few of the cucumber options the first one is the features where we will say like where is my feature file and it should always come from this src test slash java okay and right on in the sense like it will not execute it will just check whether the mapping is done or not for example with the dry run if i try to execute this now you can see like we are not getting any uh sysout statement like i have written in this particular steps that hey i am mapped right so i'm going to make it as false now let's make it like false and let's run this one more time so here you can see like we got the sysout statement says like hey i am mapped okay so that is how it works basically so let me make it as true again okay apart from that also we have checked the snippets so by default it will be like underscore if you want to change that to camel case we can use this monochrome just to remove the junk characters glue is basically we are telling where our steps definitions are what is step definition step definition is basically your class where we are going to write our actual selenium code and at the rate given in the sense like in cucumber we have to always write each and every steps will be individual methods so like here user navigates to the book cart application that will be one method this will be one method this will be one method and on top of the method we have to give like at the rate given and then followed by the characters or the strings whatever we have given there if there is any mistake like cam uh, case sensitive or extra space it will not work okay you can try that so this is how we have to write our steps we will do this in the next video more in detail along with the selenium code so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments and make sure when you execute with the runner class you should always extend this to this particular class okay if you are not getting this class that means something wrong with your pom.xml go and make sure like you have selenium dependency cucumber java dependency and cucumber test ng dependency and we are using only the cucumber dash java not dash java 8 where it will give us like lambda syntax so we'll try to avoid that for now because we didn't test the lambda java tutorial yet okay so that's it for this video i hope you have liked it and you understood how the selenium works now we'll talk about this more in detail in our upcoming videos Tada, bye bye take care